First, Winter Springs family is heartbroken tonight, grieving after a suspected drunk driver crashes into their mom's car, killing her. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Matt Austin. And I'm Lisa Bell. Police say two of her three daughters were in the back seat at the time. Thankfully, they are okay, but they are now left with this devastating loss. News reporter Catherine Silver is live at the jail in Seminole County, where the other driver is now being held. And Catherine, the chief of police there, says she was nearly five times the legal limit. Yeah, the chief says he doesn't even know how she was driving at that point. Today, he told us that Tiffany Alexander, the young mother who was killed in this crash, was a good person who was in the wrong place. Now, her friends and family are left struggling to understand how the wrong place can be 10 o'clock on a Tuesday morning, just leaving the park with her family. It's a picture of a devastating and deadly scene in Winter Springs. The aftermath of a crash that killed a young mother. We're charged with homicide, negligent manslaughter, vehicular DUI causing death. As Nabil Escobar faced a judge from the jail Thursday. Your bond, I find probable causes at none. Police say she is the drunk driver who crashed into Tiffany Alexander Tuesday morning. A mother of three and unimaginable loss. If you have kids, kiss your kids. You don't know what tomorrow brings. The chief of police says Escobar's blood alcohol level was almost five times the legal limit at the time of the crash. I don't know anybody in this room if the, we'd be standing at a 38. I don't even know how she was driving at a 38. Detectives say Escobar ran a red light and T-boned Alexander as she was turning from Vista Willa Drive onto State Road 434. Police say Escobar, a bartender, was on the way to work. She was late for work and she was going back to work. She did tell us her, her last alcohol drinks were about 1.30 in the morning. I find it hard to believe at, at 10 o'clock the next, or 10 o'clock that morning, you're a 3.8. So at 1.30 in the morning, if you stop drinking, are you a 4 or are you 5? I don't know. You know, you probably should be dead at that point. Alexander had met a friend for a morning run. Her nine month old and four year old daughters were in the back seat. They are OK. Uh, thank God. The chief says there is no question what happened is a tragedy. It was also avoidable. It's just absolutely unnecessary in today's age for something like this to happen. Don't do it. Don't drink and drive. This has just turned into such a horrible week for the Alexander family and all of Winter Springs, really. I did speak with Tiffany's best friend on the phone today, along with some others who knew her. They say they're just not ready to talk about this publicly, and neither is her family, so we are respecting that as they grieve. There is an online fundraiser. If you would like to help, we have a link, a link on clickorlando.com. I'm live in Seminole County. Catherine Silver, Getting Results, News 6.